Don't tell me, don't tell me. At the bell line. Yeah, tell him, Mike, are you ready? Are you ready, Magic Mike? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Magic Mike is always ready. He is always ready because he is magical. We are about to go into game two. Ostagy on a freaking rampage. Yeah. Stomping all over uh, his opponents right now uh, and possibly causing one, maybe two strokes in the, uh, in the process. Therefore, save his poor opponents. Donate to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. We're going to go for that $2,000 goal, at which point there will be nipples flicked, just like last time we did this. We reached our goal last time, so yeah. if you want to see it happen again... I'm sure we'll do it. We're only on game number two. It's possible. Mr. Max was black. Yep. Hit me up with the sound of being on an absolute freaking rampage. Rampage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll accept that. A little Halo, Halo voice yeah. announcer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, kill. I feel like I feel like when he when the audio got better for him, it just it didn't sound as it good. It ruined it. It and really it, did. Yeah, like so like the better the Halo games got like the newer the Halo games got the worse that sounded. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the war with the Warshot blot test. Man, down here in the bottom right hand side, we're looking at the one, the only, the man on a freaking tear. He's tearing it up. He no is pun. without being tearing, but he's up against one. It's the Red Zerg Osage. Down here in the bottom left-hand side, we're looking at his opponent. Currently down one game, but that doesn't mean anything in a game of seven. We're looking at Root Masa. Yeah, um, Masa, last game, I think he just, well, let's put it this way. Ostoji just got really aggressive, and I think he just had a build order loss there. Uh, he had a Banshee out at, at one point, and I just, it didn't do anything. There's just too much ground for us. That bailing bus was really nice in that bunker, and he got right in. And, and it, once again, Ostoji just made the right moves. So see if uh, maybe Masa will get a little bit more aggressive this time. Maybe we'll see yeah. a drop. Uh, maybe he'll make those Hellions a little bit more useful. I mean, he did Absolutely. a really good job at holding uh, a big Ling push, but he didn't really get to do a whole... In fact, he did nothing down at the base of Ostoji. And, and that's just because uh, Ostoji had a couple of queens out and some good structured positioning. It's not the fact that Masa didn't do anything. It's just the fact that Ostoji's just been on top of everything. This whole time, this no, entire just, tournament. He's, he's, he's shut down everybody uh, handily. I, I will say that if it's going to happen, this is a great map for drops for the Terran. Mm -hmm. Lots of places to, to escape with those drop ships, getting, especially with that boost. It is real nice to be able to get in and out on these maps, and it's going to be imperative uh, for Ostagy if he does allow Masa to get to that point uh, to have really great Overlord coverage to give him those early warning signs uh, because as anybody can attest to who has played the game, getting picked apart mm -hmm. by a Terran uh, drop command is a bad time. Oh, it's a terrible time. Uh, we just got a normal ass opening right now. We just got that command center, got a Rax. Normal bum. Sorry, I'm just... It's a normal bum opening. Normal bum opening. <laughs> God, just, ass isn't a bad word. It's, I, I, it's a donkey. I, I'm just, I'm it's just, a donkey. I'm just flicking your tits, and you might later. If might people donate to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, two thousand dollars is our goal. It's another segue. Awesome. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to talk about right now. Once again, very standard stuff. Got the command, or not? Sorry, not the command. Well, he's got a command, but we got the uh, the hatchery, the gas, going to get a hundred for uh, speed and so on and so forth. So, uh, not much to to really discuss. Except for maybe talking about uh, Bell Alliant, maybe some sponsors. Oh, you, oh, you mean what I'm good at? Yes. Well, the one moment, let uh, let my let me uh, just get my papers ready here, ladies and gentlemen. Bell Alliant Fire Rob is so good that it's going to make you leave your house even less because, like I said before, you can download with such high speeds. You can download all the HD Sesame Street reruns that you've ever wanted. You can also download all those Steam games that you spent exorbitant amounts of money on very during true. the summer sale. Very, sale. Very true. In like two seconds. I downloaded like a two gig game in literally about 45 seconds. That's power. That is. That's power. That's Bell Alliant Fiber Up Power, which is also helped here with the support of Cooler Master. And we're going to be giving away headsets. Uh, at, on a draw, for those of you who donate, I believe over $10, yeah. I think. Yep, $10 or more. Uh, we're also going to be giving away Amazon gift cards coming up here. Uh, two $25 gift cards. Basically, what I'm hoping is that the people who win those will just sell the gift cards for like 20 bucks and then give the 20 bucks to charity. 
It's a good idea. Heart and Stroke Foundation. All the money forever. I believe we are at about $1,150, $1,200 right now. Very, very nice. Well, finally, we're a little bit uh, into the game. We've got three racks going down here, uh, just finishing up. Got a couple of Hellions out as well. Natural is down, complete wall off for Masa. So things are looking good on his end. And on the end of uh, Ostoji, we've got uh, 37 drones, 42 now, droning like a beast. Yes. Getting up that spine crawler because, of course, Hellions are a thing. And uh, I've got a couple of queens here as well. Got, what, four gases? Uh, yep, mining from all four extractors. And now grabbing a layer as well. So things are looking good. Ostoji going for a uh, macro style game here. He's just getting the defenses that he needs against any type of Terran aggression. And uh, got a spire on the way as well. So things are looking good for both players. That's a relatively quick spire. Um, and it means, you know, that tells me that he's very comfortable because he, he's, he's not really worried about any major pressure. He's got enough queens he should be able to handle like a force like this fairly easily, but he's very comfortable in where he is right now, even going for a third immediately, uh, just under the eight minute mark. So apparently Ostergy is not concerned about his opponent whatsoever. He's already got the queen out here. That's going to be the first line of deterrence. It's also going to be the uh, first notifier there to let him know that that's even happening. And he's going to probably... Uh, he might, I'm surprised. I was actually expecting a second queen at the, uh, uh, at the main base, but that did not happen just here at the natural. Uh, but what do I know? Nothing. I know apps. That's the secret. The only thing I know is what's on this paper. There you have it. And it only tells me about Bell Line Fire Brock. Go get some. Masa not really able to do anything with the Hellions. That's going to be really, really frustrating for him. Uh, he might be able to pick off some links here. I think he's just going to go after Creep Spread, make sure that it doesn't get out too, too far. Uh, Ostoji doing a really good job out here with this Queen, not allowing these Hellions to get too far in there. The Hellions just can't get any vision. It's not, he, he just can't go in here uh, without any vision, not knowing what's waiting for him. So, you know, losing these Hellions are, is, is, is so huge because not only are these Hellions uh, good harassing units, but he also needs those just in case uh, Ostoji decides to go and do a counterattack. Maybe another one of those Baneling uh, Ling bailing pushes or, or Ling run by of some sort. So he's going to need these uh, to stop that. And also, these are just really good scouting units to see if anything's on the way. Uh, we do have a bunch of mutas. And at the same time, Moss is leaving his base. Whoa. That is really not good for him. And he might have to make that decision. Oh, but we do have a missile turret here. But he's going to be able to pick off Marines as they come out. We don't have any uh, missile turrets at the natural. And look at this. Forced to immediately come back. Uh, cancel on that command center. And instantly going off after that tech. And, uh, well, this is not good already for Masa. And this just allows Ostoji to get up his third comfortably. But we do have some Hellions coming around here. Looks like he's backing off. I don't know if he's taking part of his... Yes, he's taking part of his army over here. But he's still going to go over to that third as well. I like that move from Masa. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, at this point, Ostoji could back off. He's done He's done a pretty decent uh, job here. He stopped, most probably most importantly, because there's likely to be an attack on his third very soon, he stopped the upgrade of uh, Combat Shield. Absolutely. Uh, and that was actually really huge for him there because he does have a small ground force that he's going to be using against his third. And that would have probably... He was probably waiting for a timing to go in on that. He can't wait for that anymore. He's going to have to make his move here. And... Uh, if OCG uh, backs off, oh then you can hit it, but if this not... Oh my gosh, this is wide open! Oh man! Oh, whoa. They're all whoa. open here! This is gonna be whoa. very bad! We also have an attack at the third. The third is gonna fall, but Ostoji in here wreaking havoc on all of these SCVs, and how does he stop this? Well, how, how does that happen? Unfortunately, you know, this is a Canadian tournament, and we don't lock our doors here. And that's officially come back to bite <laughs> him in the butt. Uh, he left it all open right now, and he just waltzed right in. Wow. He opened up. Look at that choke, though. He That's opened. a beautiful choke, getting rid of a lot of the lings. That's, that was an epic choke. That was choke. actually good. That was an epic choke, and he's actually going to be able to hold this. And at the same time, Moss is actually doing a lot of damage here. So just when I go, how is he going to hold? Well, guess this what? Is how. In between a command center that isn't built yet and a tech lab. That just happened. You know what? I'm actually kind of surprised. I think it's because Ostoji was a little, a little uh, uh, more than occupied or preoccupied down here back at home. Uh, that he didn't have to stay there to try and keep attacking there. He could have easily run away from that immediately. But mm -hmm. I think his, you know, his attention being as split as it was. Uh, let's not, you know, let's not go too crazy here. Ostoji still did quite a large amount of damage there. Uh, to Masa, and Masa also got to get some damage as well. That was beautiful but hold, it man. was a really, really nice hold, and now it's going to actually allow Masa to regroup here and go in and maybe even poke up the front again, but he has to be careful. He can't just yeah, waltz he, in. Yeah, he can't over-push uh, over this. I mean, 
overextend, that's the word I'm looking for. And that was a bit of an overextension, losing a lot of Marines and the bulk of his army, about 50% of it. He needs to watch it because these links can actually go back. He's going to start picking off Marines on the way here. These are just free units. And unfortunately, Masa is down to 24 probes to 49 drones. He probes. is going to... Sorry, SCB. man, he is good at this game. He is really good. He's got like he a is really good. He got like a dark archon at some point, and even though he's still not Protoss. I know. <laughs> but hey, if he can get probes, why not a dark archon? Hey, why not? Why not? You he know. is a time traveling multiracial. No, he is Canadian. I'm multiracial. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, this is my point. Yeah, cultural mosaic over here in Canada. Great times to be had. Uh, anyway. Deny the third again. Deny the third again. Doing great jobs again. Needs to pick up. Needs, uh, needs, needs to pick needs up. To pick well, up and boost off. These bailings are going to hurt him. Oh, it picks up. Now yep. the mutas are going to try and pick off something, but just cannot do it. A nice transfuse on one of those mutas, and now dropping out over here. Might be able to pick off one. No, nope. thought that medevac was going to go down. Oh, I think he's actually going to go for it. Oh, no, now these, uh, oh, there's nothing left no, there's in nothing these. Left. There's, there's nothing, nothing left. The Viking I don't think he got, knows that either. No, the, the, Viking, uh, the Viking got rid of that one meter that he had attacked, but he unfortunately lost the rest of his ground forces there. He's going to have some coming up here. I don't know how much uh, energy is left on those medevacs. Uh, enough, to, uh, enough to help him out here, and he's going to be able to push off uh, the units from Ostagy. Ostagy now uh, having that expansion going back up aggressively now going also for a, a fourth so he's not going to be on this fourth base uh while it's still two base here for masa masa's got to either keep up this pressure or decide to whoa, sit whoa, back whoa. and try to expand himself. that was beautiful dude i love the fact that he picked off those banelings but unfortunately they died just too quickly before those uh, medevacs could pick him up i i really like the focus firing but still uh, it's not working out uh, for him. No, because now he's going to lose all these medevacs. Losing these medevacs is like losing half your army. Oh, no, now he's actually attacking the one with all the units inside. And now he's going to be a boost away, but it doesn't matter because look at this. Oh, he didn't. He locked his door this time. See, he learned his lesson. He did learn his lesson. Even the Canadians will learn to lock their doors at night when, uh, when they've gotten robbed once or twice before. We have the uh, we have the technology. We can make it better. Uh, he's actually going to try and push out and build. That's not going to happen. What the heck was this SCV? Was he on just... Suicidal. He was, on, he was well, suicidal. It, you know, over time, you're a little tired, and you start making mistakes. Yeah. You start putting things where they don't belong, and then you end up in the hospital trying to explain uh, how that managed to happen. You know, it's one of those things. Well, it looks like uh, Ostoji really wants to push in there, but it's just not going to happen. I mean, this wall is thick, and although there isn't much here for units, I mean, that wall right there alone is going to be scary, especially with those medevacs there. Mutas do a lot of damage, but they do die very quickly against a, a stimmed pack of Marines. So I think at this point, Ostoji is doing the right thing. He's just sitting out there, taking map control, not allowing uh, Masa to get out there. Once again, Masa really had to get up his uh, SCV count. I was going to say probe count again, but I didn't do it. Good he's job. Up to, he's up to 44, so you got to really think. He had to build like 20 pro uh, probes. Jeez. He had to build like 20 SCVs. Uh, you know, between then and now. So that's really hurt him quite a bit. And he's still not able to leave the base. He's like trying to slowly work his way out there, build a bunker here. He might build another bunker. A he might lose up. another bunker. He might lose that too. Once again, suicidal bunker. And that goes yeah, there down. There it goes. And All that hard work from that SCV down the tubes. That's he's quick. just desperate, man. He really needs to get out there and do something. We do have a widow mine out now as well. So that hopefully will not blow up his own army and will take out some of the Zerg. But look at this, we do have the mutas going right here and my camera work is shit in the bed a little bit. And, <laughs> Pooping uh, poop in the bed a little bit. <laughs> and look at that, Ostoji up to 176 supply. He once again is we're dominating. We're a move. Yeah. Is, is what we're building up for here. He's yeah. been picking stuff away slowly but Four surely. Four base, man. Four base Zerg is going to win against a two base Terran each and every time. There is just no hope. For, uh, for the Terran to be able to come back from that, it would take some Jesus maneuvers, walking on water and stuff. You know what I'm talking about, to be able to pull that off. Uh, and he's going to go back in uh, and regroup and just overrun him. Here we go. Here's there the comes. A move. Yep. And uh, just... Uh, Ooh, well. that Widowmine did a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Another Widowmine doing some good damage as well. Those were two decent Widowmine hits, but he's going to lose this third. He might be able to survive this attack. No, now he's in no. a bad position. No. He nope. pushed out a little bit too far, but picking up all those units. But nope. as soon as they come back down, nope. there's just way too much, nope. and the mutas are coming in. Gotta be able to clean up everything. And Ostoji once again undefeated on the games that we've casted. Incredible play, man. He had Masa in a terrible position for 80% of that game. Took four bases, had way too much maxed out. Masa just didn't stand a chance. No, nope. no hope. Um, well done. Ostoji had to put a little more work in that game.
Yeah, I, I, I put a little more work hey, in. It was nice. Uh, even though uh, I think Ostoji, like like you said a little bit earlier, was maybe uh, a bit preoccupied with um, uh, those lings that went up there because not only uh, let, let's give Masa some credit. That was a beautiful choke that he did at that first major attack. Absolutely. I mean. I thought he was going to lose right there and then, mm. uh, but he did a really nice choke, and I think that's also because Ostoji was maybe somewhere else on the map at 